Hi, good morning. Yesterday, we saw how we should do our push-ups to get a broad and mighty chest. Now, today we're going to see something different. An area of our body where people neglect it to the core. Because it's very difficult to develop those muscles and they are only worried about the upper body where we feel we are tough and it protrudes out. And we stand at malls and pubs putting out our chest and our biceps. But here is the most important part that gives a person an overall structure. When we go to a restaurant, we are more worried about eating biryani which should have a leg piece, isn't it? But in real life, when it comes to working out our legs, we are not bothered about it. Just like as Vadivelu says, body strong, basement weak. What we are going to do, what I am going to show you is, how to make your basement strong, so that your upper body also looks strong. Come with me and I will show you how to develop your leg muscles. Now before we go into our leg muscles, let me explain what are the three parts of the leg muscles. One is your hamstring muscles, your outer thigh which you can just see and then you have your quadricep muscles. These are called quadriceps muscles. Now how to develop these muscles? And apart from that you also have your calf muscles. How to develop these muscles? I am going to show you. First way, what we are going to do is how to develop our hamstrings, your quadriceps and your outer thighs. Very simple for beginners, watch. All you need is a chair for support initially, your legs a little wide apart, hold the chair, slowly release, be 90 degrees and come up. Slowly go down, 90 degrees, come up. Keep your body straight. 90 degrees, come up. Just like how we do the buskies in class on school when we are reprimanded by our teachers, we have to do 25 times 3 sets every alternate day. For example, if you are starting on Monday, then it goes on to Wednesday and Friday and Sunday and Tuesday and Thursdays and Saturday. So every alternate day so that you give it time for the muscles to develop. The second, what we are going to see is what I call the wall tension exercise, which gives you stability to your thighs. And that is how we do it. We hold, this is a wall, we use the wall, be 90 degrees to the wall, and we sit like this for 30 seconds. Easy? Oh, it's painful. So we sit there for 30 seconds, and those legs, the outer thigh, gets the treatment. So 30 seconds, wall extension, 3 sets. Then we go to our next, which is the lunges. All you have to do is keep your feet little apart, on your toes, 1, 2, 3. Do this leg 10 times, shift your legs, put your little back, there you go, one, be straight when you do it, three, keep your hands straight, you can even do it with a dumbbell of three kilos or five kilos, but you initially start off, this is the best way of doing it, alright, this you'll do ten, each leg, three sets, and then we go to something called the calf raise, how do you get these calves, how do you get these calves, how do you get these calves, how to get these calves, I'll tell you. All you have to do is hold the chair, look up and say one, hold it for some time, two, hold, three, hold, four, hold. So we do this 15 times and once 15 times is over, we take a break of 30 seconds and then we start off again 50. This time the calf race alone you will do four sets. Alright? Legs, three sets. Calf, four sets. Alright? They give more intense workout to the calves. And another way of working out your calf 
is to take a few steps back, stand on your toes and walk only on your toes without keeping your legs below. Walk back, walk, in, walk back 10 steps, walk in front, 10. Alright? Now today you saw how to develop your lower body. When you do this with commitment and perseverance, definitely you will get a lovely shaped legs to hold your upper torso. And unlike body value, you can always say, body is stronger, basement super strong. So ladies and gentlemen, whoever is looking at it, remember one thing, whenever you do your exercise, feel the muscles exercising with you. Breathe in and breathe out. Be happy about that you are working on your legs, which most of the people don't know because it is the most difficult of the exercises. Your biceps can grow in two months. Your legs can take you six months. But remember, a person with the tough legs can go the distance. A person without a tough legs can also go the distance but with a lot of injuries. So you decide whether you want a good legs or you want a so-so legs, I'll have an upper body or I'll have a strong basement and a great upper body too. All the best, happy exercising and see you with those lovely pair of legs very soon. Stay blessed, have a great day. Cheers.